After struggling with tremors and other symptoms for years, Dennis Crawford was finally diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. I knew nothing about Parkinson's. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. OK, Dennis, go. Now, Dennis is hopeful a new research centre in Tasmania, using high-tech gear, will improve his understanding of the disorder. What this is doing is using very similar technology to the film industry, which allows us to track human movements, but using them in a medical sense. It includes eye tracking technology to measure brain activity and also features a 12 camera system which tracks a person's movement and position via tiny markers attached to their body. This technology pushes the boundaries of what we can see because it's using very precise camera technology and sensor technology to measure those movements in a far more precise way. Parkinson's is the fastest growing neurological disorder in the world and affects more than 150,000 Australians. Medical experts hope centres like this one will allow for better insight into the condition and strengthen research outcomes. Researchers will be able to detect changes in movement much earlier, allowing for the earlier diagnosis of Parkinson's, MS and Alzheimer's. I would hope that they can come to a clearer understanding of the mechanisms within the brain which, which uh, cause, the, cause the problems and also the treatments that can be applied to you know, better address the, the problems. The centre will begin research trials next year. Isabella Podwinski, ABC News.